Hello everybody, I'm THD and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at creating grenades. As you can see we're inside cool stuff plugin uh, once again and as all the previous cool stuff videos we are going to create a new listener class and this time it's called grenade just like that and uh, finish and just like in the um the the, the bow the teleport bow event we're going to do an event handler public void on projectile hit and it's going to be a projectile hit event e and then we are going to check if it's the player that shot the snowball in my case because we're gonna create grenades out of snowballs so if a snowball gets thrown by a player of course you can do custom name check so that uh, you can actually make like a custom crafting recipe for grenades or whatever you like I'm just gonna do this and if e dot get entity dot get shooter uh, instance of player so if the shooter is a player then we're gonna do if e dot get entity type so we're gonna get the entity type dot equals entity type dot snowball and make sure it's org the bucket so entity type dot snowball not snowman snowball uh, and as uh, last time with the teleport bow there's gonna be two possibilities either get hit block either equals null so that they hit a entity so if either get block equals null uh, then we are going to do location because we want to location <clears throat> the entity has been hit equals uh, e dot get entity uh, mate dot get hit entity I mean and then dot get location so uh, that will return the location of our entity or the bucket dot location control shift O of course as always and of course we also want to do e dot get hit entity we want to get the world there in and then we want to create an explosion just like with the tnt uh, landmines uh, we need to give it a x a y value a z value and then a i'm just going to do strength one and false so i do not want to set any blocks on fire false i do not want to break anything and then there is another possibility that e uh, else if e dot get hit entity is null so that there has been a block that's been it so we're gonna get location lock equals e dot get hit block because it's now a um, block that has been hit to get location and then just copy this but make sure you change either get entity hit to get block hit and to get hit block i mean because now we are checking for a block and not for an entity because if you would leave that to get entity it will return a nil pointer error and that's it for the grenade i just use snowball you can use any other custom type you want you can do custom name checking etc etc you can also make this a snowman so that you can like make uh, rocket turrets out of snowman but you can choose that yourself figure it out yourself because it's really easy just change this into snowman or change this into another entity type and that's it for the coding part let's go check this out on the server so we're inside minecraft now start up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created and i play tested this a little and as you can see we have a snowball over here aka the grenade and it's a very local explosion because we set the power to one and if I hit uh, an animal it will fly up like really high because it's a very powerful local explosion that one just maybe you can just aerial shot them and that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and got any feedback or suggestions uh, there's a description in the description box there's a link to our discord channel and you can get help there or uh, talk to me or talk to the other people that have already joined and hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye